Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Just out walking the dogs this morning and the goat herd is there with his goats, sorry if it's a bit shaky, I've got a bit of zoom on it um, but yeah they're all over the place, all weathers whatever the temperature, um, out munching away So we've lost a chunk of time this morning um, we're trying to find straw for donkey and goat here it's, it's um, none around at the minute so we're struggling a bit um, obviously it's a priority because they've got to eat. We've got a bit left for a few days, but we need to get some soon. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this because the sun's coming around already as you can see. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more hardcore in and then cover it with gravel. This is the base for our new generator by the way. Um, I'm just going to put a bit more hardcore in it, a bit of gravel in it, and hopefully tomorrow we can get um, at least the first bed of concrete on it. Let's get it done. So we're just checking it, we've got it roughly level, which we have, bit of an optical illusion, ready for concrete, I think tomorrow, that's what we'll be on, tomorrow morning when it's cooler, a bit earlier than today. So we've removed the gas bottle and the old door which was framing this side and we've put these massive stones all the way around to stop the plastic when we pour the concrete in from expanding, moving. Um, the plan eventually is where we made this step here coming out of the courtyard. We're going to continue that along to meet here. Um, so that's the project for another day. Um, but tomorrow as Andy says, when it's cooler we'll get this concrete in. Right, so we're back inside. Um, I'm going to fix these front legs in now. They've been an absolute pain getting them exactly where I want them because we're really on critical um, measurements for it to go back in. So what I'm going to do, this piece, I'm going to put it across the top. I'm going to fix it to this one and to the top of these because they protrude inside a little bit and then get a piece on the bottom as well to lock these front legs in place so they're not moving and wiggling about then we can get the rest of it done I've already marked it so I'll go and cut it right so there it is I'm going to put a bit of glue on that end a bit of glue on the back perhaps have a bit on there as well <laughs> what this will do this will fix to the tops of the legs inside and then to the back of this as well if that makes sense all we've got to do is drop him in and then we'll be able to breathe a little bit because it should lock them together there lock it all in place 
fab. Put a little clamp on it. I'm just putting a bit of weight on it to pull it down on top of the on top of the legs, and then we'll just put them in there. And relax. I just put this one on the bottom um, because, as we said before, we're going to have uh, the floor sold even. We're going to have a, like a kick plate on here as well. So we'll let that go off a little bit, then we can relax properly. So, working out the shelves um, and things, um, we're going to put our little washing basket in there. So. There's no need for a shelf and um, saves me a ton of work, which makes me really happy. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, what I'm going to do next is put another one across the bottom of these. Now we know where we're going with it, just to tie these together and you know keep them all in line because they're going to have doors on the front of here. Um, so we're going to see what we can find. Right, so we've got a piece, it's 150 years old, it's the stuff I cut up to make the rest of that fence out with, out, but we don't need it. So I'm going to use it to help square all these up and put some strength into it. Same again, just going to glue it and clamp it. Um, two. We're getting flush on the end. Get this all flush on the end. He's alright, he is. And then I'm just going to check this one both ways. If I can find my tape measure to make sure that's, and then put a clamp on here. So I need to find my tape measure though. Right, well it's all gone in a minute. Um, just had a notification, the generator has been sent. I think it's a 24 to 48 hour delivery. So we better get cracking on that base tomorrow. Um, I'm waiting for the animal feed people to contact me. They're supposed to be getting a delivery of straw today. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can go and pick that up in a bit. In the meantime, I'll need to look at getting the back support legs in for the rails for the shelves. I'm going to use this, I'm going to just rip it down the middle. I'm going to get this left hand one in first, somehow, because the right one's going to be more problematic, working in this, these angles again, these angles. Um, so I think first shelf, I'll get this ripped down and then we'll look at how we're going to get it in position. Right, so there's my leg. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp this onto there. Square with my leg, clamp my leg to that, and then I can start cutting me my draw runners to go across. Um, but um, to be able to do that, I need more clamps. You can never have too many clamps. Um, all mine are in use at the minute, <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait until I don't want to risk taking them off yet. So I'm going to have to wait until this is definitely dry, and then we carry on with this. Simple. This bit actually pretty straightforward. Um, we'll be when the plan comes together. In the meantime, I think we're going to go, well we're still waiting for the um, straw people, but we need donkey food as well, and um, we need some sand and cement and stuff as well, um, plus a few other things, so we're probably going to head, head towards town and hope for the best that the straw does arrive. Right, okay, so we're about to start concreting, and um, <laughs> Cassie's finally very comfortable. <laughs> We're going to have to evict you, mate, aren't we? Eh? <laughs> we're going to have to evict you. Good boy. Right, so we're off and braving the heat. There's actually a bit of a breeze, which is quite nice. We'll probably only need a couple of mixes, hopefully. Ah, crikey. We're doing a one part cement, one part sand. So we're two parts sand, two parts gravel. Wonderful. Right, let's get it done.
never done in the nick of time it's got a slight fall towards the front and an ever such a slight fall this way I think the Air Force are out training again um, so any water does get on it's not going to run back towards the house um, we'll let that dry I think we're going to top it off with um, that spare bag of self leveling compound we've got right so back inside in the cool cooled off a bit now I'm um, going to see if we can get this drawer pack sorted out because it's the most fiddly and the rest of it is pretty straightforward. What I've done, I've put a leg in the back here, I've just put a piece across, clamped it, pretty much where I want it to be. I just need to do the same with the other side. I've got the leg there and um, I need some clamps. <laughs> right, so armed with clamps. I've just measured down from there, I want to get them level. This is just going to be a test for my drawers. What I want to do when I get these lace clamps in place is actually put the sliders in for each drawer which will tie, tie them all together basically and tie the back together as well. So I've just got some random pieces. So we stick them on there. Just check that actually. I'm going to take measure to work. <laughs> Need another pair of hands. <laughs> it's not playing. I'll right, we'll do it that way then. <laughs> okay, it's up a fraction. It keeps moving. Right, well, I'll clamp on him. There. This way, they won't fit in there. Tighten him up, put the level on him to make sure he's level. Exact. Then we can clamp our leg and get it in to there now. He'll have to go inside. <laughs> do it over the top because I want to put the drawer in. Right I've got a clamp problem. I need to find a shorter one. What I'm going to do, take this one off here because this is actually a shorter clamp and put this one on, swap them over. This one should fit it now. <laughs> Alrighty. Right, there we go. I'll just check in for plumb that way and um, see where we go from there. Right, it's in. The moment of truth. You should slide in there. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Wonderful. It's not perfect because it's got these little things on which my slides will come into them to stop it going sideways, and these will sit inside. You can tell that on there. But just for the purposes of seeing if it fits. All right. Excellent. Right. I need to work out some draw slides now. Then. Right. So my draw slides want to be 14 millimeters wide each side, 40 millimeters long, which is the length of the draw. It's 40 centimeters long. That's the length of the draw. And um, the height. I'm just going to probably make them maybe. So leave a gap between the doors, maybe 20 millimeters um, in height. So I'm going to just cut a couple um, and see what happens. I'm going to rip them down with the table saw and then cut them with the other saw. Let's go and get them done. So as luck would have it, this is 44 millimeters. Left to think the semi blade is going to give me 
or 20.5 millimeters on the thing. Um, so I'll set my saw, rip it that way first, and then I can rip my other lengths, my 14s, out of it this way. I just need to get my safety sunglasses. There we have it, a load of um, <laughs> properly sized sticks. I should have enough there actually. Um, God, covered in bits. Uh, right, so I need to cut these now into 40 centimeter lengths. There we go, far too many. I only need eight. Um, but the rest will come in for trims around my door stops and things like that in the future. It's never wasted. You know, and I keep saying you can't have too many clamps. You can't have too many clamps, I haven't got enough. I need these to clamp me draw sliders in place. So I'm going to have to temporarily screw them to here to hold them in place. Then I can release my clamps. You know, any clamp companies watching? Cox Solos, fantastic. I'll have a few more. <laughs> Chances. <laughs> Right, I get them all done, I can release my clamps. Right, so finally um, I've got them clamps in place. The drawer won't sit down properly because of the clamps, but that looks pretty good to me. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can get it out now. Yeah, I'm gonna mark them and then fix the top ones in place um, as I get more in here it's obviously going to make it more and more stable um, yeah these are actually too long as well because obviously the angle of the wall there so I need to mark these and chop a bit off them I'll do that now while I remember <laughs> excellent right so I'll have a yeah a line on there one on there etc Right, we're about ready. Let's get these top ones in. I've had to switch to the smaller nailer because the big one wouldn't fit in there. Again, I'm just going to put a blob of glue and nail them in to my marks. So, a little bit on there. Off him up to my line. Smash in. One in. Check him level. Get him level. Up. There it is. Right, the one in the back. And another one. Right now the other side. That's the one. Same again. I think we all come out. Check his level. It's not easy to see. I think we're good there. 
as it moves. They always move. I'll do that. Right, I'm just checking my cross this way. Perfect, let's try the draw. Oh. Hey, voila. Smashing. The first one's in. Um, we can carry on working our way down now. Okay. Right, our slab, looking great. Um, what I'm going to do, what we're going to do long term, uh, I think we said earlier, but stone this in all around and all around it, make it look nice and neat, blend it in seamlessly. For the meantime, these can just stay here. Um, but I want to try and trim this plastic off. Um, I've got a Stanley knife and a glove. Um, it's not easy, but it will work. I've already started on this bit. So, I'll carry on, see what I can do with it. Uh, we had to resort to the reciprocating saw in the end but um it's done we can blend this in seamlessly now when we get round to it right also back on with the drawers um i'm going to start with putting these on carried on putting the drawers in but i need to get these two stabilizing pieces that are putting out of the way so i'm going to put one on the outside there um obviously i'm not going to be able to screw it so i'm just going to glue it and clamp it in position then I'm going to put this one on the outside, on this side and um, yeah, then I can I'll take these out when these are gone and I've got a clear run down. So let's get this one stuck. That should hold him. <coughs> uh. His level, not that it matters. Okay, wonderful. I'll just find a couple of screws in here now, and um, that size done. All right, so to make it easy for myself, I've just clamped a bit across the front. I can just literally drop these on and um. Then just drop my level, cross them that way, make sure it's level, and um, yeah, pretty good to go. So, same old thing, glue, nails, let's get them in. I'm just going to repeat the process all the way down. This gap at the top is not going to be as big because there's going to be a facing on here. So, let's have it. Bit of glue. Get in there where we want him. Oh, a bit lower. <laughs> Silly boy. I put a piece of wood to help me and I didn't use it. And then drop our level on there. That's pretty good. Fire a nail in. Check it. Yeah, lovely. OK. 
Okay. Same process on this side, and I'll carry on working down. Well, mission accomplished. The drawers are in. Don't they look lovely? Obviously, it's got to be oiled and everything, but uh, the rest of the cabinet's still to be made. So I'll wait till it's all finished, and then I've got lots of oiling to do. Yeah, it's going to get as far as we <laughs> hope to do in every any day. Uh, but that's a, that's a good progress. I think we're happy with that. You're happy we with are drawers. very happy with my drawers. Yes. Cool. <laughs> so we'll be carrying on with this on the next one, making it all look equally pretty, hopefully. Um, so thank you so much for watching everyone and um, thanks to all the people that bought us a beer, it's thank very you. much appreciated because it's still red hot. Yes. Thanks to all our Patreon supporters and our YouTube channel members and um, we'll see you on Thursday. Thursday.